Hey guys, it's Val. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. And today I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup drawer video where I kind of go through the products that I'm currently using, what my thoughts are on them, and just a little rundown of what's going on in my makeup life at the moment. So it doesn't really need too much of an introduction. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you my kind of storage of my makeup and then zoning in on what I am using currently. So go ahead and stay tuned if you are interested in that. So this is the drawer of products that this basket right here is everything that I'm currently trying out or if I have video ideas or needing to try things out for review. That's going to be in this basket. And then back here we have like my staples that I use almost every day. And then over here are kind of like my preparatory items. So we will go ahead and just start off. Oh, up in front here I have random things. I have like my little color switch from Ulta that was like $3. And then this little thing to clean my brushes on, you just like rub it around on there. And some e.l.f. blotting sheets, which I literally just rediscovered because I cleaned out my desk. So I'm gonna use some of those up. So then in here, let me adjust the light a little bit so maybe you can see a little better. Maybe, okay. So this is the e.l.f. like bronzing palette. It is in the shade Cool, or the type Cool. Wow, it's really hard to open with one hand. But I have, I used to really like this and then I kind of forgot that it existed. But I have been loving this. You just kind of swirl them all together and you get the like most perfect shade ever, at least for my skin tone and I'm a ghost. So if you're similar to me, you might really like this and it was like, under five dollars I want to say. And then as far as palettes right now I'm trying out the City Mini palette from Maybelline. Um, this one is in Chill Brunch Neutrals. I'm going to be doing a best palettes under like fifteen dollars video here in the near future so I've been trying out this one just to get a feel for this formula. Also this was in my Sephora haul, the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette. Wow, this is more difficult than you would think. Let me see if I can open it here. It looks like this, and this kind of takes me out of my comfort zone, but I've really, really been loving the formula of this. These, like, shimmery shades look like they're chunky and full of glitter, but they really, they're amazing, and I really like them. And then I'm also still trying out the Total Temptation palette that I did the review on about a week ago. I still feel the same. It's okay. I want to get some more use out of it because I don't want to just try it for video and then throw it away. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's not terrible. Next up, foundation I'm trying out. I know I'm really far behind. Is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I finally picked this up and... I've been wearing it almost every single day. I really, really enjoy this. And I was hesitant because I'm not the biggest fan of CoverGirl foundations, but this one I buff on with a brush, surprisingly, and it looks so good in like my natural skin and I've just really, really been loving it. And I wear it in the shade Ivory, if you were wondering. I'm also trying out from number seven, their City Light Tinted Moisturizer. It has SPF of 15, and I am in the shade Fair. Um, this is pretty pricey for a tinted moisturizer at the drugstore. I think it was like $15, which to me is a lot. But I kind of wanted to compare it to the It Cosmetics CC Cream, see if there's any similarities there. It definitely is more of a tinted moisturizer, whereas I feel that the It Cosmetics is definitely more of a foundation. So this isn't nearly as good of coverage. But I have really been enjoying it for kind of like no makeup makeup days or if I just want to throw something on and not worry about it the rest of the day. So I've been liking it for that purpose. Then a primer I'm trying out is from Soap and Glory, the Hocus Focus Instant Visual Flaw Softening Illuminator. That's a lot of words. Um, it's pretty nice. I haven't given it too much of a shot yet. I've worn it about three times. I like it, but I haven't been completely falling in love with it. So we'll see. Next up, we have uh, from Maybelline, the Master Strobing Stick. I don't know how I feel about this one. I have it in 
100 light. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone as you will see with the two highlighters I have in here because I almost always, always, always use powder highlights. So I'm trying to go in with a stick, it's like a creamy stick and I just, first of all you get not very much product, but I don't know. I don't really like the way the cream products sit on my skin, so I'm trying different ways of applying this and seeing what I like the best. I've also been doing the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in, I think this is Opal. Yes, this is an Opal. Um, I do like this one a little bit better because it comes with a doe foot applicator, so I can kind of dot it on my cheekbones and then blend it out with a, uh, usually my Real Techniques sponge. Uh, moving on, what else do we have? We have two concealers. The Rimmel Lasting Finish Concealer, which I've really been liking, but I've only been using it for about two weeks now. So, I'm really liking it. Oh wow, I just threw things. Sorry. Also, the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. Um, this one is definitely a lot thicker. It reminds me a lot of the Physician's Formula Conceal RX Concealer. And it is quite a bit cheaper, so if you like that one, maybe give this one a try. Um, also, my brow product I'm still trying out is the Maybelline Total Temptation one that I just did a video on. This is the brow definer with the spoolie, which is a little circle and it kind of sucks. But the product itself is good, aside from the spoolie. I also have my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I've been using this for a couple weeks now, probably close to a month actually, and I've fallen in love with it, but I haven't gotten any new loose powder, so technically I'm still trying it out, I suppose. Oh, one other primer in here is the Benefit Pearl Professional Primer. I haven't used this yet. I've had it for a while, and I'm still waiting to use it, so probably tomorrow I will give that a try. Oh, talking so much kind of makes me lose my voice. Um, so we also have a mascara from Physicians Formula. It's like their two-step mascara. I don't really understand it. And I threw away the packaging. So I'm going to have to look up what I'm supposed to exactly do with it because this says nothing. I know it's a two-step one and I'm not really sure. But I will be trying that out. I also have my Flower Beauty... Flower Pots Blush in Sweet Pea, which has easily become my new holy, holy grail blush. I love it. It You need to try it if you haven't already. And then these are all lip products. I'm trying out a Catrice lip liner. Well, actually a couple of them. But this is the most like common shade for me to wear. This is in COAF. It says that it's waterproof. I haven't really tested that, if I'm going to be honest. Um, let me try and do a little swatch for you on my hand. It is a, like, sharpenable as normal pencil liner, but it is so creamy, if you can see it here. And I really, really love the way it's been looking. It doesn't end up looking dry on the lips or cracky or anything like that. And then a bunch of lip products. This is from the Ulta Beauty, um, I don't know, it was like their holiday edition lip set. This is in the shade Blossom. It's super, super sheer. I might do a review on their lip products here in the next few weeks. I'm not sure yet. Um, it's comfortable, it's sheer, but you don't get a ton of color payoff. I've also been enjoying the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip. This one is in Dose of Rose, I believe. Yes. Um, this is super comfortable. It's incredibly pigmented. And I've really, really been liking it. And then the NYX Butter Lipstick. This is in Midnight Swim, I think it's called. Yes, Midnight Swim. This is such a gorgeous color. This is like my go-to color. Let me do a quick little swatch for you. It is like the perfect mauve lip shade without going over the top. And it's incredibly comfortable. You can see it right on top there next to that lip liner. It is a little darker in person. It's coming off a lot um, lighter on camera because of my lighting, so I apologize for that. And then last in here is the Buxom Full-On Lip Polish in Dolly. 
Um, I originally got this because, it's a funny story, um, when my nephew was like first learning how to talk and he couldn't say words, when he said Val it sounded like Dal and then my whole family kind of adopted calling me Dolly. So that's my nickname, so when I saw that this shade was called Dolly, I had to try it out, and it is just a normal neutral pink, so I enjoy that a lot. Um, it's like a lip gloss, it does have that plumping, tingly feeling, so if you don't like that, you wouldn't enjoy that. But I keep it around because of the name, and it's just, it's sentimental to me, I suppose. And then back here, we have just some of my, like, go-to's to just have right on hand if I need them. I have the Tarte Shape Tape, which I've only been using for about a month, but... Boy, do I enjoy it. I have a brand new tube of my Lash Impact Intense Volume Control Mascara from number 7, which is in my giveaway. Um, not this one, but another one. So I will link that below if you want to see what else is in the giveaway or if you're interested in entering. There's also my NYX Control Freak Brow Gel, which is a go-to. It keeps your brows from moving, but it's not like crunchy and stiff, so I really enjoy that. The Milani eyeshadow primer, as far as I'm concerned, this is like the only eyeshadow primer there is. This stuff is amazing for about $8, I think it is. Oh, it holds on to shadows like a dream. And then my go-to neutral lip duo is the Bare Minerals, um, like, Gen Nude Buttercream, I think they're called, in the shade Slay. This is the perfect, perfect pale pink. It's just a little bit lighter than my lips. So it neutralizes everything, and then I go in, top, go in on top with the NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake, which is right around that same color, but right in the middle. Oh, the combination is amazing. It makes your lips look super juicy and full and delicious, and it's incredibly comfortable, and it does fade off, obviously, but it fades off gracefully, and it still looks good. Then over here are just kind of my basics, like preparatory things, like I said. Um, my e.l.f. makeup removing pen, which I've talked to death recently. Definitely a lifesaver probably every single time I do my makeup so that I don't end up with mascara or liner or whatever all over my face. Then the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. I've been putting this underneath any foundation and under a new primer as well. I do this and then I do a primer over top. Or if I'm not doing a primer that day, my Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb is my favorite moisturizer for this. I will put it on right on top of the primer oil and it moisturizes my skin without leaving it looking greasy or gross and foundations lay amazingly on top of this. So definitely check that out if you have not already which a sample of that is also going to be in my giveaway. And then two little lip products in EOS Lip Balm, Ball, whatever they're called, in Sweet Mint, which is my favorite scent, flavor, version of that. And then last but not least is the Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil in Jojoba and Peach, which is really, really great. It, I don't know what's going on with the lid here, it's all crazy. But I really love the way that it makes my lips feel. I will put that on like before I start my makeup and then by the time I get to my lips, they are moisturized and ready to go with any product. And that is everything in my everyday makeup drawer for right now. I switch it out about every two, three weeks, maybe a month, depending on how long I have been using the products, just so I can keep trying new things because I do have so much and especially with creating videos. I don't want to be only using the same few products. So that is everything for today's video. I just wanted to hop on here real quick and say thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you do enjoy this type of video. And like I said, I did find the idea from Jessica Braun, so I will link her channel below. She has a ton of these videos and I don't know, I really enjoy watching them, so I hope you did as well. And go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind if you like me or these kind of videos. I would love to have you here as my little YouTube family, and until next time, bye guys.